Hello everyone, today we're going to do a demo of the latest features that we've been adding to Jigsaw Puzzle Frames. We're going to talk about three things. First, we're going to start by looking at how to create an account. In case you already have an account, we're going to show you how to uh, sign in or how to recover your lost password. Second, we're going to talk about what to do with your account. So once you have an account, you can update your username, you can use a different avatar, or you can also uh, exchange crowns that you earned by solving um, the puzzles. Uh, third, we're going to look at missions. Uh, missions are um, objectives that you have in the game and you can complete them to, uh, to earn crowns. Uh, also, um, we're going to look at how you can invite someone to play the game and how you can, can get rewarded um, a lot more crowns um, so you can unlock even more puzzles. Let's get started. As you can see, in the top right corner, I have a button here, and that's supposed to show the avatar. In case you're not signed in, you will see a silhouette of a user. If I want to create an account, I simply click on sign in. And now I have two choices. If I'm a user, I can create an account, or if I have an account, I can sign in. We're going to create an account first. For that, I have to enter an email, a name, and a password. First, fill in your email address. Then, pick a name. And last, pick a password. You can see that now the account has been created and I'm navigated to the account page. Here I can see the name that I picked and I can also see some more information about my account. More details about that later. Let's go back to the home page. Now on the top right corner I can see uh, the account and the name that I picked for myself. If I close the app and I start it again, you will see that I'm still signing in with the same account. As you can see, I'm signing in with the same account. It's the first time I installed the game, but I already have an account. In that case, I simply go to sign in, and instead of creating another account, I will use the existing account. Here you will be prompted to enter your email and the password. Once you fill in your email and password, simply press on sign in. As you can see, now I'm back in the same account that I created before and I can continue playing. Another common scenario is that you install the app and for some reason you forgot your uh, password. In that case, you can recover your account password simply by going to sign in, pick sign in again, and instead of entering the email and password, simply go to forgot password. Here, enter your email address. And click on search. As you can see the game figured out that you previously had an account and it shows you the name of the account and the avatar that you used. Now what you can do is to continue by resetting your password. Simply click on reset password and now you have to uh, go to your email provider and find the message that we send you and enter the new password. As you can see here, I just received my new password. So I can simply copy it, go back to the game, and paste it. Once you have it pasted, you continue. And there you go. Now I'm back in my account. So if you have an account, 
simply go to this forgot password flow and you'll be able to recover your password very fast. Good. Now, now that we're signed in, I can show you more what you can do with your account. Let's go back to your account page. By looking, <coughs> by looking at this page, you can see that I have picked a username, a country, and I also have accumulated crowns and coins. I can modify all of these properties. Simply click on this pencil icon and then I can pick a different username, a different country, and even a different avatar. Once you're ready, you can click on save. You notice that the changes are reflected immediately. You can even go as far as to change your email address. Let's say for some reason you create a new email address, you can of course uh, change it. So in this case, if I choose to change it to Mihai at, I could save it. Only change your email to an, to an account that you own, because in case you have to uh, sign in again and you forget your password, we're only going to use that email uh, for resetting. So only use emails that you own yourself. Besides editing your account, on this page you can do much more. Um, if you look to the right, next to your account, you have a section called Exchange. Here you can exchange coins for crowns. So coins are re rewards that you get uh, in the game when you complete puzzles. So let's say you play every day and at some point um, you accumulate um, 40,000. Then you can convert it. So the current, um, the current exchange rate is one crown for 40,000 coins. Once you accumulate, you can see now that I only have 4,000. But if I had 40,000, I can simply click on this button and I can convert the coins to crowns. Now, I can get coins uh, by solving puzzles, but I can also get crowns um, by directly purchasing them. And there are many reasons for, for doing so. If you purchase crowns, then you can unlock puzzles. And those puzzles unlocked with crowns usually are, cost a bit less than uh, when you purchase them with, uh, with money. You can shop for additional crowns in this section in the shop. Uh, you can pick 30 crowns, 100 or 300 crowns. The 300 crowns is the most advantageous. This allows you to buy uh, exactly 10 packs, regular packs of puzzles, or if you purchase discount puzzles, you can get them even cheaper. Usually when a pack is on sale, you can get it for 25 crowns. So that means that you will get 10 discount packs for 250 crowns and we have Two extra so in reality you could get 12 puzzle packs for $25 yeah, which is a very good deal the last section we have one in under account is the upgrade section and here you can choose to either remove the ads or get a premium account if you go to remove ads you will see some of the advantages that you get by purchasing a subscription so for the remove ad subscription it costs three dollars per month or $30 per year and any any puzzle that you have um, either that either a puzzle that's free or a puzzle of the day or any pack uh, that you unlock all of them uh, will contain no ads and it's very important to notice that if you purchase the yearly subscription the price is much cheaper um, if you were to, to pay monthly you'll pay $36 um, if you purchase a yearly subscription, you will pay only 30. So that's a $6 discount for a yearly subscription. The second type of subscription is a premium one. Premium gives you access to the entire puzzle library. So in the case of Jigsaw Puzzle Frenzy, you get access to over 1,600 puzzles. You can play bigger puzzles with up to 400 pieces. And you also automatically get any new puzzles that we 
uh, that we release. And for the premium account, you also have um, extra uh, deal. If you purchase a monthly subscription, then you get one week for free. So we highly recommend this. You can start a subscription for a week. Even if you enter your credit card information, we won't charge you for a week. You can pay our entire library. And then if you decide to continue, you don't have to do anything. If you um, want to uh, stop the subscription, you can stop it and you can still experience that week uh, free. If you decide to buy a yearly subscription, that will be much cheaper. You, if you purchase a, a monthly one for a year, it would be $150 plus um, 30 extra, that would be $180 if you, if you would pay monthly. But if you purchase it uh, as a one-time payment for a year, then you pay uh, $100, uh, $99.99, which means that you save around $80, which is a very good deal. So it's up to you which one fits better if you want a free trial or a shorter duration for the subscription or if you want the best price, go for a yearly one. To discuss about missions, I reset my account again. So now I'm signed in as a guest. So in order to get to my missions, you have to click on your account and then pick my missions. Here you see that as a guest, I haven't completed any of the missions. And each of the missions rewards me a different amount of crowns. To create a game account, you get 10 crowns. Setting an avatar, you get 3 crowns. Subscribing to a new newsletter, you get 1 crown. Subscribing to YouTube, 1 crown. Or following us on Facebook, also 1 crown. The most important part of this section is actually um, gifting puzzles. So the way this works is, if you invite a friend to play the game, then you automatically get 30 crowns as soon as they start playing. This is very important. With 30 crowns, you get a full pack of puzzles and you get as many crowns as, um, or you get as many uh, rewards of 30 crowns as many friends you invite. So let's say you invite one friend, you get 30 crowns. If you invite two, you get 60, 3, 90, and so on. To send a gift, simply click on send gift, and then pick an email address that you want to send the invite to. Great, now that you've done that, let's see how it looks for the recipient of the gift. So assuming I'm the, the friend that receives the, um, the invite, here's how the email looks like. First, I'm being told that someone uh, sent me the invite and then that I will get a puzzle pack myself. It's very important that uh, the player accepts the invitation before the, it expires. So if they do so, they both get 30 crowns themselves and you get 30 crowns. And you do that by simply clicking on accepting the invite. Right. If I didn't have the game already, I would simply continue by getting by getting that from the store. As I mentioned before, you can send the invite as many times as you want. So Invite all your friends that you think would enjoy the game and then enjoy the puzzles together. That's it for today. We covered a lot of topics. We learned how to create an account, how to log in and how to recover a lost password. Then we looked at how to use your account, how to edit it, change your avatar in email. We learned a bit about crowns and coins and how to get more, um, more crowns. And then we also looked at some of the updates capabilities, how you can get rid of ads and how you can upgrade to a premium account. Lastly, we also look at uh, missions, how you can earn crowns by completing various game missions and how easy it is to earn crowns by inviting friends. Thank you for watching and enjoy playing the puzzles. Have a great weekend.